in DHS custody whenever I was 10. I started my freshman year at OSU and I plan on studying aeronautical engineering to become a pilot. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I had exactly a normal life, but um, I try to make it as normal as I can. But Basically, my grandmother had passed away and uh, my mom and my aunt didn't know how to support themselves as well as support me, and so they resorted to a lot of crimes. For a period of time, we were homeless, and uh, eventually my, my mom and my aunt had gotten caught, and that led to me being in an emergency shelter in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After then, uh, going down the line, I went to a boy's home in Owasso. They thought that I was uh, homosexual, and uh, I, I wasn't, but you know, they just thought that it was and just didn't want me there. Things there just didn't go well, and so I went back into the emergency shelter, and then from then on, I went into foster homes. Um, a couple of homes I was in, um, they, like I said, they were very strict on a lot of the things that they did, and uh, they had a tendency to be very vocal towards us if we made simple mistakes. Uh, bounced around a couple times. Uh, some were respite, some weren't. Uh, until I ended up here, and I stayed here for about three years. Um, the current family that I'm with has helped me a lot as far as getting ready for life. They've helped me um, just kind of prepare for real life stuff and. Um, DHS has provided stuff to help me whenever I go to college and just to kind of help me whenever I feel like I'm struggling. I think one of my biggest struggles is just being a procrastinator and uh, just having a whole new place to myself and having all this freedom is just going to be kind of overwhelming and just having, uh, you know, to make sure I keep my responsibilities as well. Uh, even now, it's still sinking in, you know. It's just kind of a big thing for me. Are you nervous? Yeah, definitely. Are you excited? Always. Growing up, um, I my mom always told me how a lot of my family members were in the military, and uh, I just wanted to be a part of that, and I just feel like the military is just something I'd really like to do. It's definitely a big help having a set goal in mind because it is one of the, if not the, driving force to help you through any situation. My mom and my aunt are currently away right now, but uh, I still keep in contact with them and uh, we'll be able to start seeing each other face to face soon. Uh, no matter what they've done, they're still my family, and I care about them. Um, I will say that being in foster care is definitely not easy, um, but really you just can't let your past define you. But, I mean, really it's just me kind of growing up and just kind of leaving from where I once was and just making something new out of it.